Well, good morning, good morning, friends from the bus terminal. I can't contain my excitement. It's time to head on a trip. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to our favorite place in the world, which is Patagonia. Yes. Super excited. Oh. Man. So this is going to be a little travel vlog getting there because yeah. it is it is a long journey. So we packed up. Packed we got up. a ride into town with a great friend. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to Inez. And then we've been kind of killing time at a cafe, uh, just getting some work done. Had a super Milanesa. We did. But we couldn't even finish it. Like one order and we couldn't finish it. So we're going to find some dogs. Basically, we're heading into Cordoba City. We've got to take a, a long bus ride, about two hours. We've got a place to stay overnight. And then we've got a flight to Barloche tomorrow. But I mean, the, the excitement is just through the roof. We cannot wait to do this. Yes. And we are prioritizing travel. This is no work-life balance. All in on travel. And it's going to be several weeks of this. So Yes, indeed. Pumped beyond belief. So, I don't know. Let's go to the bus terminal and feed some dogs. That's the plan? That's the plan. <laughs> Milanesa. Oh. Oh. Milanesa. Vamos, vamos. Vamos. Oh, delicious friends, delicious. I'm having Milanesa with cheese and palm and tomato sauce. So much food, guys. I'm so little and I eat so much. We just checked into a lovely apartment. Here's the tour. Hello, hello. How was the ride? Oh, it was good. You slept most of it. I did. As I usual. was awake. It's a very scenic ride. There's definitely some parts of the journey that are incredibly serpentine. Oh. <laughs> I remember you were telling me about uh, there was a funny story how when you used to live here as a kid, your mom would take all of the barf bags from mm -hmm. the airplane because you would be barfing on that road. Yes, so, so. it's it's a very windy road through a dam yep. and my sisters and I used to puke every time we had to do the journey into the city. So my mom would collect the barf bags that they hand out in airplanes for us three lady <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you've matured. You can now make it without doing that. So. I can hold my bar. But let's see what the place looks like. Sure. Wanna, wanna show us the pictures? This is nice. Yeah. Look at wildlife. That. The, the forest deer from Scotland. The wildlife from Libya. The zebras. The zebras. So it's basically just a long apartment, it appears. Uh -huh. Like we literally haven't been in here. So yeah. this is first reactions. Gotta see if we can figure out the uh, Ooh, doors here. This would be the bathroom. bathroom. Come on in. Check that out. Looks nice. The Argentine bidet, of course. Can't be missing. It wouldn't be an Argentine bathroom without one. Let's take a look at the shower. Oh, that looks so fancy compared to our country shower. I bet it's gonna have like instant hot water. What, uh -huh. a, what a nice change. And if we come into here, this would be the bedroom. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Come on in. Oh, it's nice and spacious. Yeah. Yeah, very nice little place. Um, perfect for what we need. I mean, we, we're literally just here for a few hours before we fall asleep. We arrived in the late afternoon. We're probably gonna rest a little bit, maybe do a little bit of work, and uh, grab a bite to eat mm -hmm. in the evening. So, glad to be here. Yes. So this Airbnb, 
I think it's like 40 US dollars a night and it's located in Nueva Cordoba or New Cordoba, just like nine blocks south from the bus terminal. So yeah, I think we might go out for food later, maybe dinner, we'll see. Sam was craving Asian food. I'm not sure that we're gonna find Asian in this neighborhood, but we can try. I mean, we look, I, I, lo I love Argentine cuisine, but we have been here for many months and <laughs> there isn't as much variety up in the mountains. <laughs> Also guys, I didn't show you this, but while I was at the bus terminal waiting to get on the bus, a bird pooped on my backpack, a pigeon to be precise. Look at this. So now that we're in the apartment, I need to clean that bird poop off. Found some kitchen roll. Um, they say a bird pooping on you is good luck. So maybe our Patagonia trip is off to a a great start tomorrow. <laughs> also, I found a really good restaurant that I'm very excited to take you out to dinner, but I'll tell you more about that later. Dicen las calles de Bangkok. Literalmente. Exactamente. Wow, Guys, the place was not open at Gringo Clock. Of course it wouldn't be. We go there at like five and then like, hey, we don't look until like 6 30 or 7. But it looks like a great place, so we've decided to come have a merienda, have a piece of cake, we're gonna have some juice, and then we'll go back for some Thai food. Exactly. So we walked over to a little coffee shop. It's called Etiopia Cafe de Especialidad. Um, I don't think we're gonna have coffee at this time or we won't sleep, but cake, smoothies, lemonade, and that we can do. And then Thai food. And that, yeah, Thai food. That, that bus ride dehydrated me like no tomorrow, I'm telling you. So yeah, we, we can't have a coffee right now. I need something cold. Mm. It's really good. Let's try yours. Internationales or Nationales? Nationales. To the world? Nationales. Or in Argentina? Nationales. Nationales. Now that we're at the airport, we've made it through Tulsa yesterday. Yeah, we, 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 we got so excited that we didn't talk about what we did. So we were walking around looking for a restaurant. Actually, you found a place that we thought we might like. And the restaurant was themed after Khao San Road mm -hmm. in Bangkok. So it was really neat. They did a, a really authentic job of trying to replicate all of the things that you would find in Thailand, including the signs, including the 7-Eleven and even had a little snack store where you could get some Asian snacks, Thai snacks, Japanese, Korean. We ended up having a, a really nice meal. I had pad thai, you ended up having a curry. And uh, yeah, we were craving Asian food after having Argentine classics for months on end. And uh, it was just a, a great way to, to go out and experience the food scene in Cordoba, which looks fantastic by the way. And I'm not surprised because it is a university city and university cities tend to have great food. So in Argentina, we often eat the, the three Ps as I like to call them, barrida, pasta, 
pizza and when you've been traveling here for weeks on end or maybe you've been here for months on end sometimes you're just craving something a little bit different and it's nice to find Asian food so we went to an area that's called Guemes it's really well known for its restaurants bars eateries and super lively area lots of young people as you said University City so yeah it was a fun night and then we came back home and I went to bed early you stayed up Oh yeah, I was I was uh, I was working on my website as uh -huh. usual. So yeah, that's what I do. Now you sleep on the plane. Now I'm sleeping on the plane. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Off to Bariloche. And I'm so inspired by some photos we've been seeing of friends trekking in Patagonia. Oh, so autumn I'm wondering colors. if we're gonna get those autumn colors too. Oh I'm look, sure there's a so. fire. Oh, oh. Off in the field, can you Ho see that last one? Yeah, smoke? hopefully it's hopefully it's planned. <laughs> off off the airport grounds, yeah. I hope. Gorgeous. The views are otherworldly out the window. I don't, the last time I remember we had views this nice was like all the way maybe back in Vietnam when we were in Sapa. Do you remember oh, that? Oh geez, hotels with good views, it's, yeah. It's been a little while that we had views quite like this from this vantage point. And uh, what a beautiful drive over here. Not busy at all on the road. This is, we're slightly off season. And the other thing too is the spectacular fall colors. Yes. The yellows, the reds, the oranges, the, just those beautiful, intense fall colors. And we're so excited to be here. We're gonna see if we can grab a little bite. And um, yeah, today's just gonna be check-in day. It's, it's late in the afternoon, so we might check out our surroundings a bit, but tomorrow is when we really start beginning things in earnest. With, with the fancy camera. With the fancy camera, not the GoPro. <laughs> Three oh. whiskey. Are you the are you the paparon of the hotel? The paparon. Oh, paparon. The paparon. Paparon. Alrighty guys, so here we are, all settled into the hotel, had a lovely nap. We missed lunch time, so we have been waiting for the restaurant to open uh, since three o'clock when we got here. Dinner here doesn't start till 8 p.m. That's typical dinner time in Argentina, so five hours. It has been five long hours. <laughs> But anyways, we planned out what we're going to be doing over the next two days and we have signed up for a trekking excursion to Laguna Verde or the Green Lagoon. 
Uh, that's also going to include a countryside lunch of sorts. And then we've also signed up to do a horseback riding excursion. We're going to go around Lake Gutierrez, which is the lake we've got in front of us, like here, just looking straight out the window. And that's also going to include some kind of barbecue or countryside meal. So we're very excited for both of those excursions. It was about 30 bucks per person for each of the excursions and they're kind of like full day activities. And then I also wanted to share another little piece of advice when booking accommodations. So this is a new thing that I've just realized, but basically usually I look at accommodations on booking.com or Airbnb, this time around we wanted guest houses and hotels, so it was booking.com. But then I realized that when I would go to the hotel's own website and look at the prices on there, it was so much cheaper. So basically this price, this place was listed at over $100 a night on booking.com. But if I go on the hotel's website, it was $66. So that is a huge savings. So obviously we have decided that, okay, we're gonna start booking accommodations by contacting hotels directly, booking on their website or sending them an email, a WhatsApp message, whatever it is they use. Um, and it's going to make the trip so much affordable. So we're also traveling during low season. Summer's over, we're halfway through autumn and a lot of places shut down for the winter. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you travel in Patagonia. If you start going like really remote, you know, really isolated locations far away from cities, uh, most of your accommodations will be seasonal. So there's going to be uh, less options for you. Um, but anyways, we're just like 20 minutes outside of downtown Bariloche, so we're not that, that isolated. But because it is low season, much better prices. I don't think you would have found these prices if you were trying to book in the summertime. So just something to keep in mind, some tips and tricks for booking uh, accommodations. So anyways, we've got another hour until it's dinner time. We are so ready ready for that Patagonian food. Um, so we'll bring you down to dinner in a bit. This is the current scenario. Computer bag has been opened. Suitcase has exploded. Shall I show, show you the charging station? Show us the charging station. This is what, what having too much gear looks like. You just have, it's just unbelievable. Take a look at that. Do we have more lights here? Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, look at that. Like, what are we charging here? Battery. Two batteries. And two batteries. Phone. There's a microphone mic, that needs to be charged. Computer, etc. cetera. Phone. Uh -huh. um, yeah, man, a little bit out of rhythm. We uh -huh. used to do this like, like it was like, <laughs> You know, brushing our teeth, but it's been a little while since we've had all our gear on the road, so we're relearning what to do. But yeah, anyways, it's just so exciting to be here. We've arranged some really interesting travels, and we can't wait to show you what we're gonna get up to. Thoughts on dinner, which we didn't really. Oh, dinner, film. dinner was phenomenal. We yeah. indulged. We just indulged. We were hungry. We 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 missed lunch. And we miss Merienda. So we were starving by the time it was dinner. You know, in Argentina, you don't eat until eight. Of course, we were the first people there, super gringos, but it was phenomenal. I mean, I had a steak and a mushroom sauce. You had goulash. Mine was so good that I'm ordering that tomorrow. Like, mm. I just, it's like, I gotta have that again. Since I didn't properly show it, I'll show it in the next video. Yeah, and I think with that, we're gonna say good night. Yeah. We need some sleep. Thanks guys. Thanks Thank for you. watching. It's just the beginning of our Patagonian adventures and we'll have all the exciting travels to show you in Coming future videos. Soon. Coming soon. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.